Hi. In this video, we're going to learn how to create this timeline motion graphic and a brush stroke effect in CapCut on PC. First of all, grab all the assets. We've added the download link in the description if you want to follow along. Now, bring the background onto the timeline. Head over to the Adjustment tab and slightly decrease the exposure. Next, drag this line onto the timeline, crop it as needed, and rotate it. Make sure the rough edge is facing left. Now, bring in the circle element and rotate it just like you see on the screen. Let's add the AI-generated Coke bottles. Oh wait, I made a mistake here. We should have generated the image with a green background so we can remove it easily later. Let's go ahead and write a prompt to generate this image with a green background. In the meantime, let's animate our first scene. Go to the mask option, and select the split mask. Add a keyframe and bring the split all the way up until it reaches the circle. Now, go back to the beginning of the clip. Add another keyframe and drag the line towards the left until it completely disappears. Now let's animate the circle. Go to Mask and choose the Split Mask. Add a keyframe and rotate the mask until the circle disappears. Then add some feather to soften the transition. Move a few frames forward. Rotate the mask again until the circle fully appears. Now head over to the keyframe animation panel and select Auto Curve for a smoother motion. By the way, I always struggle with selecting the keyframe on the left side. If any of you know a fix for that, please let me know in the comments. Let's drag the bottle images onto the timeline and start with the first one. Crop it to fit. Then use the Auto Background Remover to get rid of the background. Position the bottle inside the circle. Then go to Mask and add a mask. Set a keyframe, and after a few frames add another keyframe to animate the mask so the bottle appears from bottom to top. Don't forget to increase the duration of all the elements. So everything plays smoothly. Now let's go ahead and download the image with a green screen background. Bring the logo's image into the timeline crop, the first logo from the image. Now select Chroma Key and remove the green color, add a mask and make it appear from bottom to top. Now place the image, I think here, it would look good once done. Make a compound clip of it.
Now save this as a preset. Once saved, go to the Presets tab and rename it to History Timeline. Drag the preset onto the timeline and double-click to open it. From here on, for every new preset, we'll only change the bottle and the logo to match the scene. Once the preset is open, bring the new bottle image onto the timeline. Crop it, remove the background, and add a mask that reveals it from bottom to top. Do the same for the logo. Crop, remove the background, and apply the same mask animation. Repeat this process for all the layers, one by one. Once that's done, we'll move on to animating the brush stroke effect. I actually forgot to record my screen while writing the text, so let me quickly show you how I did it. First, add a text layer and type in your text. Then, go to the fonts and select American Typewriter. Next, head over to the animations and apply the typewriter effect. Once that's done, create a compound clip of the text animation. And don't forget to set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9. Now let's grab images of Coke CEOs. I've selected them randomly and added them into CapCut. Also, make sure to download a green screen brush stroke effect. You can find one on YouTube or use the one included in the assets provided. Let's drag in any image and pretend he's the first CEO. Now bring in the brush stroke animation and trim out any unwanted parts. I'm going to speed it up a bit. Next, scale down the CEO image and position it just below the brush stroke. Use the chroma key to remove the green color. Then, create a compound clip and remove the black color as well. Once it looks good, save it as a preset. If you want to animate it out using the brush stroke, just make a copy and reverse it. Now go to the preset and repeat the process for the rest of the CEO images, and your history timeline is ready. Now use keyframes to animate the compound clip. Move it smoothly across the screen, along with the pictures of the CEOs. This will add some nice motion and make the timeline feel more dynamic. Thanks so much for watching till the end. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next, and don't forget to subscribe for more. Bye.